Hey guys, so for our um, test that we'll be going over, it is the Vineland Adaptive Behavioral Skills, third edition. Um, it was published in 2016 by Pearson. So um, unlike the test that we've been learning class, the WJ and the Wyatt, that we are like doing, we are performing the test, this is, um, these are observational forms. So there are three different kinds of forms. There is the interview form. So these, this is the domain interview form, and then this is the comprehensive interview form. Uh, that is a much larger version of this. This is just the main domains that has all of the subdomains as well. And then there is the parent slash caregiver form. Um, again, the domain level and then the comprehensive level. And then the final one is the teacher form, the domain and the comprehensive for that. So, Okay. Um, the administration time for this behavioral observational form depends on which form you're using. So whether or not you are using the comprehensive, like we said, is a lot longer or the shortened domain version. Um, it also depends on the age of the examinee and whether or not you include the optional motor skills and maladaptive behavior domains that are at the end of the form. So like we said, this is a um, adaptive behavior scale, but there's also the maladaptive behavior um, optional section. So those are two things that we have a bunch of domains that are testing. So some of the um, adaptive behavior domains are communication, daily living skills, socialization, and motor skills. And then the domains under the maladaptive section are externalizing and internalizing maladaptive behaviors. So the maladaptive and the motor skills domain are completely optional. You do not have to do these. But then um, the comprehensive booklets include a bunch of subdomains, which is why it's much longer. So the subdomains um, are, for, comp for communication, the subdomains are receptive, expressive, and written. Um, subdomains for daily living skills are personal, domestic, slash numeric, community, slash school community. Subdomains for socialization are interpersonal relationships, play and leisure and coping skills. And then the um, subdomains for motor skills are gross motor and fine motor. They, um, I will mention that the motor skills is labeled slightly differently in some of the booklet. They might go by physical activity, but that is the motor skill domain. So the age um, that you're able to administer these forms on, again, depends on which form you're using. So the comprehensive interview and parent forms are able to be used from birth on, and the questions asked are based on the examinee's age. Um, the domain interview and parent forms are for ages three on, and since they have fewer questions, they're not based on age. The teacher comprehensive and domain are both for ages three to 21, so school-aged kiddos. Um, the comprehensive, again, has different starting questions based on the age of who the teacher is evaluating. For the domain level interviews, you're answering all of the questions in whichever area you're assessing. For the comprehensive level forms, you again start at the age of who you're assessing and you go until the ceiling is reached. Yeah, and I would just like to add with the domains, they are being tested just through a series of questions um, or observational questions that um, either a someone will be filling out for the interview or the parent caregiver or the teacher, and they're filled out on a scale from uh, two, one, or zero, two being usually, one being sometimes, and zero being never. Um, so then the intended use for this, so like we've mentioned, maladaptive and adaptive behaviors, um, we're using this to determine if a student has a deficit in, in an adaptive behavioral domain. Um, so in order to call, and then also in order to qualify for special education under IDEA, um, an intellectual disability significant limitation in adaptive behavioral must be shown. So this can do that. Okay. Um, so like Ashlyn mentioned, each of the questions that you're rating their behavior on is by like how frequently they perform the behavior. So the response options are two, meaning usually one, meaning sometimes zero, meaning never. So you add those scores together and you find scores for the domain, the overall composite levels and the subdomains. Um, the back of each booklet includes the score report that you can fill out and 
like I said, you add up all your twos, ones, and zeros, and then you're able to kind of compare your scores and look at what the individual's strengths and weaknesses may be in adaptive behavior to see if you could find a deficit. So um, since the comprehensive booklets are just a deep dive of the domain levels, we are going to show you the, the domain levels um, and then just know this is a longer version with um, all the subdomains included. So for the first one, I'm going to be looking at the domain level booklet for the interview form. So that is when you're directly observing the child. Um, the first domain in here is communication. So an example of something that you might be observing would be pay, uh, pays attention to a story for at least 15 minutes. And then the scoring would be either a two, that means they usually do, a one, they sometimes do, or a zero, they never do. Um, there are the many questions. There is 45 questions underneath the communication. And then we move on uh, next to the next one, which is daily living skills. That's the next domain. So an example of a question here would be it takes own temperature when needed. Again, a scale of two, one, or zero for scoring. There are 45 questions in that one as well. And then the next domain is socialization. An example here would be shares toys or possessions when told to do so scale of two, one, or zero for scoring. And there are 45 questions for that one as well. And then the last one um, is the motor skills one. So like I said, this is the optional one um, when you're doing the long version. Um, so an example of a motor skill question would be ties a knot on a scale of two, one, or zero. So then the parent caregiver form, again, just the domain level. So the main domains, I'm not diving into each of those subdomains that the comprehensive goes into. An example of a communication question, like question that a parent or caregiver may be evaluating in their child would be um, tells about his or her everyday events in detail. Example, when you ask what happened at a friend's house today. So the parent decides if they think the child does that usually or often, sometimes or never. There's 40 questions in that section. Then is the daily living section. Again, there's 40 questions. An example of a daily living behavior that a parent may be evaluating. Wipes or cleans his or her face and his or her hands when eating something messy. So usually or often, sometimes or never. And social skills and relationships, again, 40 questions. Um, an example could be apologizes after hurting someone's feelings and means it. Then we get into those optional sections of, um, in this it calls it physical activity, but it's referring to those motor areas that we mentioned. An example would be unwrapped small objects, examples of piece of candy or gum. So evaluating how able the child is to do that. And problem behaviors or maladaptive behaviors, like we mentioned, um, an example could be refuses to go to school or work or has to come home because of worrying, sadness, nervousness, or et cetera. So they rate if that's happening often, sometimes, or never. And then the last booklet is the teacher form. So this would be observations that the teacher would be making in class about a student. Um, first domain is communication. This one is a little bit shorter. It has 32 questions. Um, an example would be it gives complex directions involved three or more steps in logical order. For example, to a distant location for a complex assignment. Um, the range scale is the same of two, one, or zero. Two, usually or often, one, sometimes, zero, never. The next one would be uh, the domain of daily living skills, also 32 questions. Example here would be tells time using a digital clock or watch, again, two, one, or zero. Next would be the domain of socialization, um, 32 questions there as well. Um, an example would be use words or, gest or gestures to express distress rather than screaming, hitting, throwing something, et cetera two, one, or zero on that as well. And then we have um, motor skills, which is the optional one again. Um, an example of this would be use, um, holds a crown, pen, or pencil in proper position. That is using a tripod grasp and when not with fist um, for writing or drawing, two, one, or zero. This one only has 20 questions. And then the teacher one actually has maladaptive behaviors that are included. And then there's two sections for it. 
Um, first section is 10 questions. Second question, second, second section is 13 questions. Um, an example from section A is, um, is very irritable or moody, two, one, or zero. And then an, a, a question from section B would be is stubborn or argues, two, one, or zero. And then, oh, there, there is also section C, my bad. 10 questions as well. An example here is threatens uh, to hurt or kill uh, self or someone else, two, one, or zero. And then like Sarah had mentioned, there's the score reports in the back. And that is all of the domains. Mm -hmm. um, so just kind of summarize, bring it all back together. It is the Vineland Adaptive Behavior Skills, third edition. Um, instead of a sit down test that you are administering with someone, it is behavioral observational skills that can be completed by a parent, caregiver, a teacher, or someone like us if we are trying to assess a student for something like intellectual disability. And while the, the time can vary per um, all the things already mentioned, especially based off of the student, the domain forms are much quicker than the comprehensive and don't take that long. So it is an easy thing to use. Thank you. Thank you, guys.